Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures. Alright, so got another holographic one for you. Um, I honestly haven't painted this one yet, so um, we're going to try out a couple things. First off, uh, this on these holographic ones, you know that um, I already went on and put epoxy on them. So what I like to do is put a coat of epoxy on them, and then that way I can come back over the top with another color and kind of hide that where that foil comes together um, or where it doesn't come together actually um, so I already did that and then what I did was um, I went back and at the tops and the bottoms I tried this new what's new to me it's not new but it's a uh, 0354 wicked aluminum medium picked it up I was over Hobby Lobby looking at some colors and um, so I grabbed the bottle of that and it blends really nice with that foil at the top so we're gonna do a few things I got a, like two or three of these I'm more of these I'm gonna do and um, we're gonna try a few different things um, so for this one um, I'm going with two really bright colors um, I just want to see how how these two colors are gonna look together I think they're gonna look pretty cool um, and I want to retain that holographic um, pattern so I'm um, just going to do a, a light little stencil on the side and um, and then color on the top I'm going to leave the, the bottom shiny because um, that pretty much hid that uh, full mark um, so I'm going to not do anything on the bottom I'm just going to let it blend down to that silver <laughs> or actually that aluminum so all right so already got the aluminum on there that's all i'm going to do with it i didn't want to bore you with it and i really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but i liked it so i went on and did like four or five more of them so i got that part already done all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on some of this i think i'm going to do the fluorescent pink on the back and then i'm going to do the pearlized plum on the stencil so I think that'll look pretty cool, but who knows? We'll check it out. We'll see what happens. Um, so let me get some fluorescent in the in the brush. Got her all cleaned out, ready to go. And um, let's put some a little bit of fluorescent on top of this guy. Okay, got the fluorescent in the brush. Got it spraying good. Um, so let's take and run a little bit of this fluorescent, I, fl hot fluorescent pink. Fluorescent hot pink. And I, don't, I got my pressure turned down. I'm at about 15 because I don't, I don't want to blow too much down the sides. I still want to kind of retain that holographic foil look. But I want this pink to be really bright. Let's bleed it over the shoulders just a little bit. Just putting just a little tint of that pink on there. All right, let me dry that. And I'm gonna hit that top one more time. All right, let's deepen that pink a little bit more. really popping out now all right let's do the let's do the face a little bit dry that and um, let's uh, clip this a little different all 
we're gonna dry that and then I'll bring you back okay um, let's get the pad out here and let's put the stencil on I'll show you the stencil and uh, stencil we got is right here just cut this out so let me get my brush ready get my paint ready okay we're going with this pearlized pearl plum Since I'm spraying the stencil, I'm not going to reduce it down. Sometimes, if I want to get a nice gradient, I'll put a drop or two in these pearls of 4011 just to, just to let it spray a little smoother. And the gradient, that pink was really thin, so it sprayed really nice. Okay. I'll get my stencil on here. So, if you don't know, I'm, I cut my own stencils on a Cricut. If you uh, don't have a Cricut, I would say try to get you one. I know they're expensive to start, but man, I'm telling you what. Your, your design and creativity can just go wild by having a, a Cricut. making your own stencils like these and being able to be unique with your designs and stuff is really really a big plus okay so my stencil is a little bigger because I wanted it to kind of blend off the edge right there so no big deal down here at the bottom all right let's put a little plum on it and see what it looks like Still got my spray on 15 and um, I'm using my uh, fine needle it's um, a point two all right and I just wanted to get a hint of that purple on there I didn't want to put a big solid bold, uh, bold purple on there so let's see what it looks like That's pretty cool. It's really going to pop once it gets the epoxy on it. So it's just leaving a hint of purple in there. Which I imagine is really hard to see on the camera. So let's flip it over. Let's do the other side. And we'll pick out some, some complimentary eyes for this guy. But as I was saying, the Cricut stencil is really nice. People always ask me about why well, I sell stencils. And the only reason I really don't sell them is because they're only good for, you know, four or five lures. But this stuff is cheap. And it, once you got it set up, it only takes you a few minutes to cut a stencil and make one. So... For me, there's not that much cost involved. And if I started selling them, 
people would probably be like, oh, them stencils don't last, and they don't. They're only good for about five or six lures. Sometimes I've gotten maybe 10 lures out of them. But for the most part, they're kind of a disposable item. And I don't feel like it's worth it for me to cut up, spend days cutting out stencils, mailing them to people. So, I do show you how to make them. And I'll show you the materials I used in another video. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. And I suggest you just get you one. Or talk your wife into getting one. Or your husband. I know there's lady fingers out there too. Your significant other. Talk them into getting one. Tell them all the cool things they can do. And then just use it for your bait stencils. Yeah, that's cool, guys. I, I don't know if you can see it as good as I can. But that's pretty cool. Alright. Um, I'm going to get these brushes cleaned out. And um, we'll pick out some eyes. Okay, I think since we went with the pink, I think I'm going to go with this purple, the darker eye right here. It's kind of got the reptile look to it. And I think that's really going to contrast that pink pretty good, so... All right, let's do that. Let's use that. Okay, drop a Gorilla Glue. These eyes don't sit perfectly down in there. Because... I don't want to use a little tiny eye. So this will hold it on there until I get the uh, epoxy on it. Kind of crazy looking. But I like it. Let's get the other eye on here. And I'll bring you guys back for the epoxy version. I always like I said guys look at them from the front too you can tell if you got your eye pretty well in the same position on both sides and that looks pretty good all right I'll bring you back Okay, friends, we're back, and uh, here's the finished pink and purple on a holographic foil. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I brought it outside so you guys could see the uh, colors a little better. And uh, I like the way that pearl is, that pearl plum is, if you can see it. It's kind of tinted on there with a little bit of the foil showing through. 
Should make it a pretty nice, attractive bait for big old fish. Okay, colors we used today were um, the Createx Hot Pink, Fluorescent Hot Pink. Then we used Createx Pearl Plum. And then obviously I, the first coat I put on was the uh, Createx Aluminum. And I blended that into the foil first. So it turned out pretty good, yep. Really happy with it. So I appreciate you guys subscribing, hitting that like button, watching my videos. Um, plan on keep, keep going for a long time. As long as I got ideas, I'll be glad to share them with you. So if you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like if you like this bait. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends. <laughs>